something special about a first day. First day of class, first day of football practice, first ballet rehearsal, or in Molly's case, starting tomorrow, first day on a new job. The palms sweat, the pulse races, the butterflies dance. Let's face it, you just want to throw up. There's only one remedy for that first day nausea, shopping. And why not shoes? Ah, uh, well, that's the one with such a painful toe. Do you have something more rounded? Oh, um, yeah, one sec. Something like that. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's great. This is one of our two-tone right. colors. It's just anything, a... oh, that less uh, orange. Do you have something in the... Three different pairs back there, but I have this yes. brown one. That is, it's just fabulous. Great. It's just brown. a new one. It's just brown. Brown. It's really fresh. Oh, very, uh, new, fresh, uh, inappropriate for my life, but, uh, wonderful. Uh, oh, you see that one right there? It's, uh, very, very current, but very purple. Molly's decided she needs something sensible, yet snazzy. Something for the corporate conga line, which is a whole new ballroom for my dancing daughter. Perhaps it's time she embraced the two pair of shoes mentality, one to walk in, one to work in. Like the 80s woman she pretends to be. Hmm, those are nice. Not flashy, not stodgy. Comfortable, yet stylish. Well, this could take all morning. Run along. I'll try to catch up with you later. Dodd, sponsored by Loving Care. It's time to decide, gray hair or loving care. Why keep plucking? Did you know there's a hair coloring as gentle to the hair as a shampoo? It's Loving Care. Loving Care covers your gray, a beautiful match to your natural color. No peroxide, no roots, it's as gentle to the hair as a shampoo. Nature is forcing you to make a decision. Make it. Gray hair or loving care. The baby in this picture is going to have a very special year. A year of first steps, first words, first birthday. And none of these firsts will ever happen again. Now, if you were this baby's parents, which film would you choose? No other film in the world gives you truer color than Coda Color Gold Film. Aren't your pictures worth gold? Oh, boy! Can I get to that seat, please? Is this seat taken? Oh, it's crowded. Aren't you glad you used dial? We are sorry. To Don't you wish everybody did? Premium champagne. Oh, what a headache. Feels like a herd of elephants is stampeding through my head. <sighs> but I took two Excedrin. That'll work. My headache's gone. 
to Excedrin and it's gone. When only extra strength headache relief will do, take Excedrin, the headache medicine. Looks like shoes. New shoes for a new job. Women and shoes. An inexplicable but satisfying symbiosis. Take a Melda Marcos. Oh, no, but this is one pair, count them, one pair of simple, straightforward, grown-up shoes. Suitable for junior editor, cum ghostwriter. Exactly. Uh, speaking of which... Ah, your novel. Oh, the novel. A sweeping epic. LaGuardia to Koch, the bums to the Mets, the rise and fall and rise of Baghdad on Hudson. The weight alone is worth $22.95. Yeah, everybody's in there, from Bishop Sheen to Tallulah Bankhead. I knew them all. You knew Tallulah Bankhead? Light my lucky handsome, the stars have started to rotate. A direct quote. She said that to you personally. Naturally, I hop too. <laughs> but I don't want to give the whole thing away. No, let me experience it for myself. A page turner. I couldn't put it down. I laughed, I cried. If you must read one book this year, Miss Dodd, make it mine. I can see the reviews now. Easier to read than to lift. It's intentional. You gotta be sitting down. That ain't something you can skim through like a drugstore throwaway. I intend to pour over every word. I hope your punctuation is impeccable. Oh, in my youth, I was known as the god of grammar. Oh. Are Bonnie and Mike up there? Your cousins? Alleged. Uh, they went out. Oh, wonderful. An afternoon alone. Uh, a golden opportunity to catch up in your reading. One last thing, Miss Dodd. Yes, Davy? Although this book is my life's work, my cri de coeur, as it were, I want an honest response. Fair enough. Uh, no kid gloves, no punches pulled. I'll be merciless. No holds barred. Take no prisoners. Uh, uh, just remember, it, it doesn't matter that I've spent the last 30 years of my life pouring my guts into it. Gotcha. If you hate it, I'll kill myself, but no pressure. Ti amo. Ti amo. I love you. I love you. Dove il gabinetto? Dove il gabinetto? Where is the bathroom? Because even though I love you, you make me sick. Lavorande al sol mi far sudare come un porco. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Working out in the sun is making me sweat like a pig. A handy phrase for the summer months. Molly, can I come in? Bonnie, yikes. No, I'm taking a bath. Oh, sorry. I heard voices. Well, you ought to be careful with that in the tub. Once my lady Norelco slipped out of my hands and I saw stars. I was being very careful. Um... I'll be out. Thirty-six percent of the accidents that happen in the bathroom happen in the tub. I didn't know that. Thanks. Well, I I'm glad you're home. Well, glad to be home. That Italian is my favorite language. It's the language of love. I'll tell you what, uh, if you want to, we can listen to the tape together after I get out of the bath. Sure. Sorry. Bye. Bye. Bonnie. 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 What? Come on in. Have a seat. <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> Mike and me got in the most awful row. Well, these are difficult times. <laughs> Bonnie, hey, look, uh, why don't you go put on the kettle? I'll be out in a sec, and we'll have some peppermint tea, and we'll talk. With sugar? Spoonfuls. That sounds good. Thanks, Molly. You're real family. Ron? Hon? Are you a <laughs> Go away! I'm crying my eyes out over you! Can I come in? Absolutely not! Why not? Because I am trying to take a bath. Bonnie's in here. There is a difference, Mike. Bonnie is a girl. Yeah, but you and me are related. Besides, you remember how we used to skinny dip every summer down to Old Quarry? I have never, ever skinny dipped in a quarry in my entire life. Sure, every summer solstice and weenie roasts and marshmallows and telling ghost stories around a fire and, and, and scaring the dickens out of each other. Oh, primo times, Ma, primo times to borrow from the Italian. Out. 
okay, okay. You know, a smile was a frown turned upside down. <laughs> Will these help dry those tears? They're dead. They're mine. You just pulled them out of a vase. I think this quarrel is mainly between me and Bonnie, Miss Budinsky. Sorry, I didn't mean to overstep. You're not. It's your bathroom. Really? It doesn't seem like it. Mike, there is a draft. This water is getting cold. Would you just get out of here for a minute? Okay. You know, flowers mean forgiveness. <laughs> I'm... I'm pregnant. Oh, Bonnie, congratulations. Or I'm sorry. Whichever. I'm of two minds, my own self. We can't afford a family. Mike's, um, what's that word when you're old and act like a child? Immature? Stop eavesdropping! Well, go to a marriage counselor. You've been saying that since we got back from our honeymoon and we can't afford a marriage counselor. Let's not toss seven years of conjugal bliss out with the bathwater. <laughs> You don't have a regular income, you're never home, you lost your driver's license, and I'm starting to have a hunch you're never going to get that State Department job. Uh, what we need is to discuss this on a full stomach. Now is the hour where everyone suffers from a precipitous drop in blood sugar. So I'll just whip up some comfort food. I'm not hungry, thank you. What about you, Ma? Some of my famous scallops de Mornay old Balmer family recipe? If that's what it takes to get you to shut the door. Coming up in two shakes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> um, what? Don't worry about Bonnie, Ma. She's so happy about the baby that she's not herself. Okay. Got any scallops? I think I just ate the last one. Rats. I might have a few of those. I am... Um, I'm sorry I snapped at you, but as you can tell, I've been under a lot of pressure. Think nothing of it. I'm going to be a father. And I'm going to be a prune. <laughs> oh, what a headache. Feels like a herd of elephants is stampeding through my head. <sighs> but I took two Excedrin. That'll work. My headache's gone. To Excedrin and it's gone. When only extra strength headache relief will do, take Excedrin, the headache medicine. When you can get it all done in one piece of visions, cooking is faster and easier. So this holiday, instead of thinking what you can get her, think what you can get her out of. Visions Cookware, the time-saving gift from Corning. Visions also presents non-stick Silverstone skillets and saucepans that are actually microwavable. She's got a leg. Feels like real silk from the Orient. Well, I want her. I've got to have her. She's got less. Macho Comics, move over. Ah! It's time for the feminine touch. Hi, pigs. When some sizzling comedians reveal their softer side. Oh, I wish I had a gun. Join host no. Martin Short and four fun-loving gals. Why don't I just stand here and you could beat me with a stick? Now, who said comedy isn't pretty? <laughs> Women of the Night. Isn't she something? No! Wednesday, January 3rd at 10 p.m., 9 central, here on Lifetime. Mike? Polly? Well, feel free to use the bathroom now. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> I didn't know Mornay was supposed to be khaki. How odd. Hey, Molly. It's 
it's Fred. I know. Pick up if you're there. I'm here. Molly, Molly, Molly. You're not there? Okay. Tonight, 7.30. Punch and hours. I'm buying. Huzzah. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Hi. Hi, darling. What stinks? Uh, I don't know, but it's khaki. I hope you're not just waking up. No. I've been up. I've been out. Shopping for shoes. How did you know? That's what I'd be doing if I were about to start a new job. Now, I picked you up a nice sweater set at Bergdorf's. What? No protest? No demurral? No, Mom, I'm too old. I can buy my own clothes. I wish you wouldn't. No. I'm floored. Thank you very much. You're a very generous person. I look forward to trying on and wearing this apparel because you have impeccable taste. Is that irony? Not in the least. Would you like some tea? Earl Grey, please. And turn off the stove. That odor is vile. You didn't happen to pass anybody dressed like a Sears salesman, did you? No. Why have you not opened these boxes? I'm not ready yet. What are you waiting for? Courage. This place is chaos. Courage to do what? To confront the fossils of childhood and adolescence. Mom, can you see who that is? Aunt Flo! Oh, I... oh, God! Oh, it's so good to oh, see you. Oh. You know him? This is your cousin Mike Sales from Baltimore. Well, I know. I mean, he's staying here with me. Well, if you know him, why wouldn't I know him? He was at your father's funeral. A pillar of strength, I might add. But you weren't exactly tissue paper yourself. Vacuuming amidst all that tragedy. We do what we know best. Oh, how's my sauce doing? I turned it off. Now, you two honestly really know each other. Moss confused about exactly how we're related, Aunt Flo. I tried to explain it to her a thousand times, but she's got some kind of block or something. Maybe you could explain this riddle for me, Mom. Oh, thanks, doll. Oh, it's Earl Grey. It's my favorite. Let's see. You and Mike are... What is it? First cousins once removed. No, just plain old second cousins. No, wait. Now, who's Aunt Mim? Mike's mother. Uh, no, not his real mother. That was her sister. Ramona, my real mom, who died tragically young. Influenza. She was a lovely woman. Peaches and cream, complexion big as a minute. I can't even remember her, except for the photo in the locket. Mm. How is Bonnie? I haven't seen her since your wedding. You went to Mike and Bonnie's wedding? And a lovely wedding it was, too. Carved ice swans, that funny all accordion band. Uh, Otto Glowicki and the Polish party makers. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it was quite a bash. You remember the rec center at Edmondson Village? Like it was yesterday. It demolished. No! It's a toxic waste dump now. Sick transit Gloria Mundi. Tell me about it. And how is Bonnie? I'm dying to see her. She was always so charmingly rural. Oh, um... She's at Penn Station now, probably on a metro liner back to Balmer. You had another spat. Well, it's either feast or famine with us, I guess. But say, and Flo, you know, when Molly and me was stumbling down memory lane, I happened to remember that old quarry near Mim's house. Oh, that place. Water was full of jellyfish. No, it's not jellyfish, Aunt Flo. Frog spawn. Why do I feel like a complete amnesia victim? I gave you kids such hell for skinny dipping. Oh, you sure pitched a fit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the oceans of calamine lotion that you poured over uh, Molly and Mamie and me that summer we fell into poison oak? <laughs> Excuse me, I have to get dressed. I think the bedroom used to be back there, but I could be wrong. <laughs> and what about Dwight? Oh, when, when he tried to fight that hornet. <laughs> he did. The trouble was the hornet bit him back. <laughs> and Mom was such a tomboy. Remember that summer when she got so mad when she started growing breasts? <laughs> I had no idea what they were talking about. That's weird. No recollection whatsoever. You know, totally repressed. I can't believe you remember him. Cousin Mike from Baltimore. I met him at our wedding. Guy danced on his hands. Well, see, I missed that too. 
Maybe you were too nervous and virginal. Uh, well, I was nervous. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. What are we celebrating? The new album. You didn't tell me there was an album. You said there was an album possibility. We cut some tracks a couple of months ago. It was on again, off again. I didn't want to jinx it by hyping it too much. Right, that's terrific. Well, where is it? Let me see it. Ah, well, you know, they were supposed to send some copies to me yesterday, but... They didn't. They did, but there was no one at the loft to sign for them, so they got sent back. It's a typical dumb screw-up. Things are so crazy right now. So I'll have some in a couple of days. Will you send me one? I can't wait. I'll send you two. <sighs> Oh, this is the uh, color Xerox of my album cover. Uh, it's you, uh, magenta, but recognizable. Well, you see, we had trouble with the designer, too. I'm telling you, Molly, it's, it's a regular three-ring circus. I love the music. You do? Do you really? I do. No, I really do. God, I don't know, but sometimes I... I think it sounds great, and sometimes I think I'm kidding myself, and it's nothing more than the M.O.R. flavor of the month. But the, the record company's saying that there are two singles on the album, and they, and they want to break them out, so uh, who knows? That's terrific. Yeah, but if they're going to play them on the radio, how good could they be? I mean, what if this album sells? I'll feel so embarrassed. Fred, you're good. Nobody plays like you. You know, you've worked hard for a very long time. You deserve a wider audience. Yeah, I guess so. That's what I tell myself. And a couple of days ago, I saw some of the guys from the old band on the street. Yeah? Felt like a sellout. What would they say to you? They're happy for me. <sighs> well, they should be. You know, I'm happy for you, too. I appreciate that, Molly. Fred, you're staring. I know. What's wrong? Well, it's, it's, it's all this acceleration. It, it seems like there's so much stuff going down and uh, a lot of important details going by the wayside. That's why you're staring? That's why I want you to come work for me. Oh, Fred. <laughs> you know me. You know the music. You can help keep me honest, keep me from drifting into elevator music land. But that's not a job, being your in-house critic. Uh, all you have to do is just call me, you know, say, Molly, am I becoming the world's most blatantly commercial music schlockmeister? And I'll tell you, yes or no, you know, free of charge. No, I need, like, uh, a major domo, an ombudsperson, someone to handle the band, make sure they get on the plane. Remind me I have an interview, handle ticket requests, stuff like that. A nanny. A friend. There are dozens of bright young people who would jump at this job. Pay great. Yeah, well, then you won't have any trouble finding somebody quite remarkable. You. You are remarkable. Fred, I'm not available. I've got this other job coming up. In tomorrow. What job? I mentioned it to you. Publishing house, ghostwriting, celebrity as told to you books. I'm sure I told you about it. You did? Maybe. I forget. Yeah, well, there you are. In fact, you know, I, I really ought to call my boss soon. Well, I tried. I wish you all the luck. Sounds like a great gig. Mm. Thank you. So, how's your personal life? How's that going? Well, that's uh, here and there. Mostly where? I'm thinking about someone. Someone seriously? It's too soon to tell. The bookstore guy? No. A cop. A detective. It'll come in handy if you got a park and loading zone, stuff like that. What about you? Ah, I've been too busy working. After work? A little uh, guitar music, maybe? Randy? Nah. Well, maybe. Yeah, uh, I thought so. We'll see. She's nice. But she is a musician. Well, I really should make that call. She likes me to check in. My new boss is a she. Sure, maybe then we could even order some food. <sighs> no, I 
Hello, uh, Miss Reddick? Uh, Sarah. Uh, it's uh, Molly Dodd. I, I'm so sorry to bother you at home, but, you know, I hadn't heard from you, and since I'm starting tomorrow, I just thought that I might... Huh? Why not? Oh, how terrible. I... <laughs> she went to another publishing house. Boy, that must be really disappointing for you. Well, I guess it happens sort of all the time, huh? Uh, when do you think you want me to start, then? Uh, sure. No, I can hang in, hang loose. <laughs> hang on, whichever comes first. Uh, do you have any idea when? Oh, no, of course. Well, no, I do understand that. Uh, but can you give me a ballpark idea? Mm, uh, well, keep me posted then. I'd appreciate it. Uh-huh, sure. Bye. That's it for the news. Now let's take a look at today's weather. Cold winds out of the north-northwest today. <laughs> Boy, is it going to be a hot, sticky one out there today. <laughs> at last, a weatherproof formula that holds longer and stronger than the other leading pumps. Honey, don't forget your boots. <laughs> Exclusively ours, new Final Net Ultimate Hold. The weatherproof hold that lets you laugh at the weather. <laughs> Out of every 10 people who've tried Benalin cough syrup with its unique cough suppressant, nine say they'll use it again. Is your cough syrup this effective? Try Benalin. Oh, ho, 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 ho. No diamond walnuts? Huh. Without diamond walnuts, it's only half-baked.